Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reading a short story called Getting Closer, written by me. This is a horror type story, so if you're not a fan of horror type stories, click off this video immediately. But, if you're into this kind of stuff, be prepared, because this is going to be a long story. It's going to be traumatizing. Summer. The season of sensation and sultry weather and activities. The time of year of relaxation and wondrous summer activities. Teens going out to parties and hangouts with friends. Adults enjoying their breaks and vacations after months of hard work. And children going out into the world to enjoy the summer break after school. Jack Finster. A junior in his high school at Pensacola, Florida, starts off his first day of summer playing video games all day. Jack gets out of bed to put on some uncomfortable sweatpants, a black t-shirt with a picture of a wolf on it, and some black slippers so he can feel comfortable. Finally, now I can upgrade my levels, he said as he boosted up his PC to play his favorite game. The door to Jack's room opens up to see his father standing in the doorway and was concerned of his agenda for today. Anything important you plan on doing today? Ask with a concerned yet serious look. Yeah, I'll be playing this game for an hour or so. And also, ask mom to make me some pancakes. Thanks, said Jack while he was focused on this game. His father takes a look around the room while standing in the doorway. There's clothes on the floor, soda cans and bag chips. The closet being completely filled to the brim with trash and dirty clothes. Jack's father then walks in to the computer and unplugs Jack's PC. What the hell, Dad? You can't just come in here and unplug my game? Jack said in frustration and annoyance. His father walks closer to his son and gives him that serious look and tells him, This whole summer year, all you've done is play video games every single day. And look at your room, boy. It's a mess. You never clean up nor help your mother when she needs you. Jack, while still annoyed, is curious about what his father is saying to him. Jack's father then threatens him. You have two choices, boy. One, you get a summer job and learn what it's like to work and how much it pays off and, and to fix your room. Or two, you're out of this household. Jack thought all of this was a joke. But with that look on his father's face, Jack had to accept that he had to get a job. Jack racks his phone and puts on some blue jeans, walking brown shoes, and a hat and some sunglasses before he leaves the home to go search for a job. Jack's mother walks into the room concerned about the father's punishment idea. Don't you think you're being too rough on him? She asked, worried for her son. That boy needs a wake-up call. He can't keep living like this. When he finds out what it's like to work, he might even thank me for it. Replied back in consideration. Jack takes a walk around the town of West Pensacola to find any jobs that he could be interested in. The more he walked... He saw arcades, stores, and fast food restaurants, but were not hiring. Jack goes from confident to frustration as he thought it would be easy finding a job during the summer. He starts to look to his left to see a group of teens in an arcade playing games, especially Mortal Kombat, which was Jack's favorite. Thank you, Dad, he says sarcastically. A few blocks away, he notices a hiring sign on an antique shop. Curious of what it was, Jack enters the shop to find old furniture of chairs to beds and dressers. In the corner, he saw old suits, picture frames, and the floor had some dust and broken toys. And yeah, my parents thought my room was a mess, said Jack as he looked around the place in disarianness. On the right, Jack saw something unusual to him. It looked like a mascot of some sort, rather old and bad condition. A wolf-like hybrid looked old with its distorted eyes and jagged teeth. Its fur was matted and rough as well as its clothing, which were rather strange to Jack. Checker patterned flannel, long ragged pants, cowboy boots, and a hat made from straw and nearly destroyed. Jack kneels down and reads the name of the mascot's podium. Alter Wolf, Jack reads out loud. May I help you with something? A strange voice from behind scares Jack as he gets up quick and sees the owner of the shop. Jack replies back, Yeah, I, I saw your sign outside. Are you hiring by any chance? The owner replies back, We have one position. Night shift janitor. 
You just clean up the place, you make easy money. Jack didn't like the position, but he had no other choice either way. Jack agreed to take the position. The owner replied back, I'm Winston Grayson, owner of this pile of junk. Jack saves his hand and replies back, Jack Finster. Winston shows Jack around, but before they could, Jack out of curiosity asked, What's with the busted wolf? Implying the old mascot. Winston tells the story. This old thing here came from my childhood. Walter Wolf is from that restaurant from the 90s. Walter's Wild Western Diner. The place was fun. Full of kids, games, a show with Walter and his game. Best place I've ever been to. Jack asks, what happened to it? Winston answers, place got a lawsuit. On September 25th, 1998, there was a runaway thief on the loose. He tried to hide inside the restaurant in the back rooms. That's where I found old good old Walter. They found him, shot him down, and he died right next to Walter. Jack starts to get disturbed by the story. He looks back at Walter and notices one of the eyes is looking right at him. Winston continues. Two days after he died, Walter attacked a kid by that little Booger was on the show stage messing with Walter, and he attacked one of the kids. Kid got injured, lawsuits came in, and place closed down in 1999. I was lucky enough to buy Walter before they dismantled him. You know, it happens to places sooner or later. Come on, rookie. Let me show you to your station. Jack and Winston go over the place from the register, closets, bathroom, etc. to give them the basic instructions and what and how to clean. Time was 8 p.m. and it was time to get to work. Winston leaves for the night and leaves Jack with the keys when he's done cleaning up to lock up the place. Jack starts to head over to the closet where the supplies are until Winston tells him something interesting and a bit unusual. Before you leave, make sure everything is where it was. Things can get out of place sometimes. Jack, confused and a bit worried, lets it slide and gets to work. Jack grabs a mop in a bucket and takes a look around and comments on the place. Three hours of cleaning little old hell. The cleaning begins, unclogging the toilets, spraying and cleaning the sinks, mopping the floors, cleaning the windows, dusting off furniture and Walter, tidying up and stacking the trash and throwing them out. Two hours of cleaning and the place was spotless, sort of. Halfway done, and I can get out of this place, said Jack out of relief. Grabbing the trash can, Jack starts to notice something off in the corner of the room. Walter was gone. Jack walks closer to the spot to see if anything was left of the mascot. All that was left was the podium and piles of garbage. Jack hears something break from behind. Turning around in fear, he saw the mascot standing there and Jack nearly trips and stumbles on the floor of old dolls and old garbage. Getting back up, Jack slowly walks up to the rusty robot with the broom in his hand and starts to poke the wolf to see if it moves. No sudden movement. Jack thinks it's a joke from Winston. Out of frustration, Jack flicks the mascot in the nose with his finger. This is all a joke, Jack said as he gets back to work. Jack goes gets the mop only to find that the bucket is spilled on the floor. Jack, frustrated, goes back to the closet to refill the bucket. When he was done, outside of the door, he saw an arm peeking out from the left where the door is the back alley. Walter was there in a pose that looked like he was ready to pounce on Jack. Jack starts to slowly walk away backwards, but suddenly, his foot hits the drawer and his face hits the ground. Opening up his eyes, Jack finds the disturbing mascot close up on his face like it was ready to eat him. Jack screams in fear, gets up and makes a run from the mascot to hide in a closet full of old sweaters. Before he could close it, Walter was already there, staring Jack deadly in the face. Jack cowering in the back of the closet tries not to take his eyes off the mascot and tries to communicate with it and ask it to spare him. What do you want from me? I'll do anything. Let me go. I'll be a good kid. I'll clean up my room. I'll be nice and help out my parents. Spare me, please. Give me another chance. No words came out of the mascot, nor any movement. Jack is frozen in fear. 
No sudden movement from the both of them. All Jack could do was keep looking at the disturbing beasts as they kept staring him back with the jagged like teeth, foggy, dusted eyes, and sharp, rusty claws. Only time is reliable at this point as Jack hopes Winston will be back to save him from Walter. But all Jack could do for now is to keep looking. Do not look away from the mascot, as it could be his fate. So yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys really did enjoy this short story. I worked so hard to make this really, really good and not being lazy for once. And I think it turned out amazing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys really soon.